started drugs when I was about 11 and a half, 12. My amphetamines and my LSD. Well, when I was 14, I went into foster care. When I left there, I had to leave at 16. I got put in a hostel and met a guy who was 10 years older than me, so he was 26. He was already on drugs for like 10 years. He had a lot of domestic violence, um, domestic abuse, and he got me into like heroin. And I was with him for two years. We split up. I ended up on uh, crack after that, crack cocaine. And that's when my life like really spiralled. It's like, it's between like night and day and light and dark between my past and now. I was just like so separated from them and all I thought about was drugs and now it's just so different and so positive. And I've still got a way to go and I know that, but I'm certainly, st you know, and I'll, I'll, I believe that I'll be on recovery, in recovery. Well, I per my personal belief is I'll always be in some form of recovery, but you get, it gets easier and easier and better and better as you go along. This photo was taken around twen end of 2020. Um, at this point, I've been been on my recovery journey for about eighteen months, and yeah, I was having a really pr proud moment. I was belonging with my family again, um, like it should be, and we was going to my uncle Robert's birthday party, and I'd only it was my dad's brother, and we'd only just sort of got in contact with each other in like within the last eight, twelve months before this. So it was a really special night and I'm so glad that I made him proud. I have always been, uh, well, seen myself as being academic uh, from a very young age, but because of like sort of the cliche about, you know, getting in with the wrong crowd, um, you know, I sort of went downhill in secondary school, but I've still always had that uh, love of books, reading, writing, researching. After I'd already been clean for, like I say, about 18 months, a very good friend Adele suggested that uh, this new degree was coming up, Innovation and Skills for Social Change, and she suggested that I, I could put my name down for it. And I, looked, I looked into it, I just felt, yeah, this is it, this is my moment. We learned all kinds of things about like core design, that was one of my favourite parts, about like activism and psychology. It was an amazing degree, and I was, uh, but I also went through a lot while I was studying, just my own like my own mental health wasn't great and I also lost my granddad and my auntie who both brought me up but I pushed on through and I'm so glad that I did. I've got where I am now, I've got a degree. Now I also belong to like the Leeds Beckett University alumni. They still keep in contact and see how I'm doing and how like, all the students are doing after and I still keep in contact with some friends I made there. The poem I come from, that came from a mini assignment that we were given. Our tutor K just said what we were talking about, like, you know, our, our past can, like, can, like, think our future, but that also doesn't have to control what we do in the future and all kinds of things. And we were asked to write a poem, um, or a piece of writing, and wrote the poem. And it's, yeah, it's really personal, um, and I put a lot of, like, my, yeah, my feelings into it. I come from, I come from death, just weeks before my birth. I come from grief, a newlywed, my mother holding me all alone. I come from the warm, embracing love, a love that only a grandparent can give. A lesson on how to ride my bike, my mother's worried look in case history repeats itself. I come from rebellion, spending my teens arguing like cat and dog. Dogs, a puppy I chose, who we named Trampus. Oh, how I love that dog with her crimped tears and fox-like tail. I come from heroin, crack and whiz, merely 16, battered and bruised. I thought he loved me, it shows what I knew, black eyes and bust lips, walking the beat. I come from a place where hitting rock bottom comes easy enough, but then simply forgotten, till the next time I rattle, puke shakes and shit. Enough times it's happened, then I just took another hit. I now come from unit and allotment plots. Tomatoes and lettuce is all that I got, but this makes me glad. I think it's fair to say. Sometimes life may be hard, but mostly it's not so bad. True friends and family, where the new I comes from. <clears throat> A new leaf, fresh on the branch. I finally turned it around. From the Innovation in Skills, the Social Change course, for the award of Bachelor of Arts with honours, Ramona Green. I can't suggest it strong enough to anyone who's who's having problems to to yeah when the time's right because it has to be right but yeah to to just plough forward and do your best.